Hello and welcome to Tawani's Pilgrimage. Today we are in uh, Brother's Isle, I believe is the name of this zone. And we're here at the quest mob, uh, James Dagmire. Uh, James Well Dagmire. He is the... Uh, he is the partisan quest for this zone. Uh, there's not very many in this zone in particular, but uh, if we take a look at tracking right now, I have a feeling that we're going to be destroyed. Uh, everything's like yellow and red, and there's a few even cons. So this is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to try it out. I'm fully buffed. I left my character in guild lobby for two hours, or uh, not two, two hours, overnight and uh, a little bit longer. So I've been waiting two hours to get on to play. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully... Uh, this is not going to be an absolute uh, bloodbath. Uh, we're also going to pick up after we get this quest from this guy. We are going to pick up the uh, mercenary quest, and I believe they, they're from this guy in this other room here. All right, let's go ahead and hail uh, this guy. James Well, regards you coo coolly. You say that Fiviona sends you to us. You shouldn't speak that name too loudly here. Not all brothers have welcomed her arrival. Especially given the events that have followed the brothers. Years ago, the sirens began growing more troublesome in the, in the buried sea, stealing whole crews of vessels and sending their thralls to attack merchant ships. Quigley and I were the victims of one such attack. A James Well gestures to the stump that is his arm two hands we formed the brothers as a group of sailors who would protect the seas and its vessels from the beauty that lurks in the deep protect we search for ships of any for hidden hidden sirens provide escorts through the dangerous waters and offer direct passage on board our own ships trade is much safer now that the brothers are here we found this island nearly in uninhabited two years ago. I say nearly, as you might see there are some unwelcome residents have yet to expel. But we are rebuilding the old structure as more and more gold arrives from our good works around the Buried Sea. And soon the island will be, be a haven from predation. Alright, so I think events is the next word. <laughs> As uh, swift fins sailed around the island of storms, our brotherhood and deaf soldiers blocked her path. Our brothers did what they always do to protect the seas. Board and search the vessel for sirens. Finding such beauty on board with no other reason for traveling the seas than bringing balance and helping healing Safkata. My less discerning dis, discerning brothers I had no choice but to escort the swift fin to our island, but I soon discerned the truth. Of course, her and her companions were no sirens, James well pauses and rubs his chin. Though the warrior woman Dagda certainly has her charms, James well waves his hand as if trying to dismiss his thoughts. We are far too suspicious nowadays, and with the increasing sirens' attacks around the buried sea, but that is only one of the concerning things about the seas, and she told us she would set them right. The island that glitters at dusk, the island that has sprung out of the sea, the portal that leads to the forgotten halls of dwarves, and the jungle island we have found that has for so long been lost. Lost. Some of Friona's companions left to investigate the islands. Others were preparing to depart, but then the incident happened. What incident happened? The halfling. Drizil. We should have been checking for thieves as well as sirens. Dagda and Dabner were preparing to sail to other islands when during the night our treasury was raided in the morning we could not find the halfling anywhere apparently he stole a digni 
and set sail, or dinghy, and set sail. Quigley questioned Dagda and Dabner, but nothing, but getting nothing from them on Drizil's whereabouts. Quigley confirmed, confined them to the island. I can't imagine Dagda would conspire to do such a thing, but she and Dabner are to remain here until the debt is repaid. Nonetheless, oh my gosh, you're about to have a terrible mistake, my friend. Quigley. He and I can co-founded the brothers and established our protectorate of the seas. He never liked Fiona or her companions. This new threat you speak of. Perhaps we can talk to Quigley and reason with him. While I value our gold, our safety of the seas is paramount. Uh, yeah, you should talk to Quigley before this gets bad. Uh, I wish you luck. Just recompense. All right, so there we go. That's a solo task, and that was talk. All right, we need to go talk to Quigley. All right, let's find this Quigley guy. All right, there's Quigley Barnables. Is that the guy we're looking for? And there's Dapner over here. One of these guys is the... Uh, the, the mercenary guy for the zone. Let's hail Quigley here. Alright, the quest has been updated. He stamps his foot and points his fingers in your face. You know Friona? You're here to pay her debt. I don't think there's enough gold in the buried sea for that to happen. Well, buddy. I don't know who you know you're messing with here. That thieving little halfling spit upon our hospitality and cost us dearly. I don't care who is after Ferona or the staff, or who attacked Kata Castrum. I want justice. Jameswell might care about his, that barbarian woman and her gnome, but they can rot here until Ferona has paid us back for the wrongs of that halfling. If you expect any sort of passage to the other islands, you best start repaying what is owed. I know Brother Dockle, Brother Sprood, and uh, Brother Saldar could use some extra coin or some hands of menial labor. All right, speak with Dockle, Sprood, and Saldar. So where are they at here? They're Sprood, Dockle, and Dagda over there. Saldar, he's way over there. All right. And I think that's the guy we need to talk to for the uh, kill quest. So we're going to have to make our way up there too. All right. So let's go talk to uh, who's closest here. Uh, Sprout first. All right. Apparently they're, they're not outside. They're up here on the top of the tower. Uh, Sprout's over there and Dockle's right here. So let's just do Dockle first here. Let's see here. Dockle scribbles a line in his logbook. We'll have to go out without pay. Where will we get the gold to pay for shipments of food, weapons, and construction materials without sorting, shorting the brothers their shares? This could be our undoing. So we need to hail him one more time. I have no doubt the captain of the Swift Wind, uh, Sledge, Sledgeth Wait, was on it, in on the theft. He's been complaining the whole time about how this cost him, costing him money in the throne. At, Verona owes him. If Quigley wants his money, he should be squeegeing uh, Sedgwith, Sedgwith Wait. Jeez, I don't even know how to say these names. All right, we need to talk to the captain. Uh, da, 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 where is he at? He's way over there. So he is a uh, further along in this quest. Let's go over here to uh, Sprood. Let's hail him. Scratches his back side and squints at you. Here to deliver food. Guests need food, but we all out. Little wee man take brother's coins. Go find island food. Salt weed grow near shore. Crabs everywhere. Mash tubers grow in sand. All right, so he has given us a quest. Pick up some salt weed times two. Get some crab meat times five. And some tubers slash two. All right. So we are on our way. So uh, I guess we'll kill any of that as we see on the way as we go over to the captain and Brother Saldadar. 
All right, let's make our way down here. So the birds are dubious and the <laughs> the monkeys are threatening. So let's just kind of keep an eye out for them. And we got some other guys over there that are apprehensive. All right, who is this? Uh, Praetor, all right. These guys are all indifferent. I don't believe we're still in Viz, so let's just kind of make our way through here. Where are we at? Holy crap, this island is microscopic. I thought it was... I thought this was slightly larger than it is. Alright, those are apprehensive. Brother, brother. An older brother. Alright, where is this captain at? Squawker. There he is. And those are apprehensive. There we go. Here's the captain. We can talk to him. Uh, Fiona, if I didn't believe in her mission, I wouldn't mind hearing that name. <laughs> I wouldn't mind not hearing that name again. Since you bringing her party aboard, I have had nothing but trouble. Underpaid, captured by brothers, and held here on this island for some that that greedy halfling did. She only paid me half up front, promising the rest when we reached the entrance of Catacastrum, but we never arrived. Our vessel was commandeered by the brothers. She was off to save some sleeping king, and I was left hoping that I would get my money. Well, that almost happened, but now we're all paying for it. Captain draws closer to you and speaks in a hushed voice. Drizzle was actually actually came with me after he stole the brother's gold. He promised a share if I could loan him a dinghy and picked and pick him up from the northern island chain once she set sail. Well, it would have covered half Verona's half, so I agreed. Okay. Uh of course I didn't have any of the gold on me. The brothers stamped their gold pieces with their own sign. So if they searched us thoroughly, they would have known the stole stole it from them. Uh Drizil still got has that gold, but didn't <laughs> that didn't stop Swabby Bert Lap from making things worse for us. What the heck's going on here? Uh when he heard the brothers were questioning about stolen money, he was frightened. Not being a terribly smart man, he came up with a idiotic plan. Perhaps he's actually the smart one from what I can tell. He stole our chest of copper and silver and tried to row away with it. All in knows they found an empty dinghy the next day. No sign of a chest or burtlap. Perhaps the brothers took him or the sirens. It might not be enough, but if you could find the chest burtlap stole, perhaps we could appease the brothers for a time. With a little bit of our silver we found in the dinghy. We found the dinghy near the eastern shore of the island, so perhaps a chest sink near there. Get the silver back for him. So the eastern side of the island. Over here. Alright, we're getting getting attacked by a level 101 creature here. Alright, so we just gotta go get the find the chest that's not too bad all right next guy is right over here so doesn't seem too far away oh jeez uh reactive earth force uh burn and react wasn't ready for combat yet luckily this blob is fearable and he got feared by intimidation all right Point two percent experience, not bad at all. I should be probably using experience potions right now, huh? All right, so uh, we'll head over to the next guy. All right, we're here at the other brother. Let's go ahead and hail him. You would fight with us. The sirens have grown fearsome, even in the daylight. They creep on the shores. Chastely, we wear our helmets, but still come and take in. It's even worse at night. If you can't see the siren's beauty or hear her sultry song, you won't be seduced. He invented a helmet. With padded, or Quigley was smart. I missed that whole entire line. 
Uh, he invented a <laughs> helmet with a padded interior to deafen the incoming sound, colored warped glass, fills the vision, distorting the vision of beauty, rendering them inert. As long as we wear our helmets, we can withstand all but the most beautiful sirens. Brothers don't want me to wear their helmet. Brothers don't want to wear their helmets tonight. I've been told from time to time their helmets keep their helmets on no matter what time of day. But in the morning, I find the helmets and no men. We must guard against the song. It intensifies at night. Strangely, it also comes from the sea rather than the sirens themselves. They don't sing, but they can certainly bite. Will you help us? Kill sirens who swim in the northwest. So here's one. Oh, I really got mezzed already? 52 seconds? Really? That's ridiculous. How am I, how am I supposed to do it if, if they mez me for 52 seconds? Alright, let's try this. There we go, this one's attacking us, alright. Alright, where's Nova? I can't... <laughs> this stupid wolf form, uh, from, uh, uh, what you call it? Playing a guild lobby. Oh god, this is terrible. Two, three seconds, come on, come on. Let me at him. There we go. Alright, one... Alright, people are dying left and right, this is dumb. Oh, one down. All right, mercenary down and Ketka's down. Let's see if I can mez that one. All right, there we go. And we'll let's get that going. There we go. Jeez. All right. So we got three or four. Uh, there's going to be some more coming here in just a second. So what we're going to want to do is get Ketka back up and get her over here. She needs to hail this guy. Same with uh, her. Or yeah, they're both hers. I totally don't even remember what characters I make half the time. Jeez. All right. Uh, one more. Kill the sirens. Alright, that's 20. Alright, so I need four more sirens to complete this. Uh, let's see here. Let's get Ketka rebuffed. Uh, Talisman uh, or Cannibalize first. Pre incarnation visionary unity. I have no idea how she died so fast. I didn't even see her get attacked, honestly. That's how it goes. She's also wearing gear from like three expansions ago at this point. Uh, so she is like under geared compared to uh, everybody else. Actually need a pet. So I'm gonna get them back up and going. This is just gonna take me a few minutes to get everything going here. And then uh, we should be able to continue this quest and finish up these steps. All right, we're back up and running. Uh, I'm over here at the commissioner, right up in this general area. I'm gonna hail him real quick. Uh, greetings to you, adventurer. We brothers could use your services in dealing with the flora and flana here on the island. What services? And then he offers uh, turtle soup, bread, birds of a feather, uh, crustacean cuisine, fatal foliage, monkey business, and exorcism. So these are all... Uh, the mercenary quests for this so-and-so uh, might as well grab them all now <laughs> so that uh, they're gonna get done while we're going around trying to figure out whatever we need to do for this zone all right so I'm over here back at the the siren guy and I they haven't respond and they only like spawn in this general area from what I understand so uh, if I can find them Definitely, uh, 
fight them. But uh, we'll see. What else can we do? We can kill crabs and get some crab meat uh, for the other part of the quest. So there's some crabs like right over here. And all these, these are all kill quests. So that makes it really easy to do. So uh, we got a kill quest for these squawker guys. And we got a qu kill quest for these guys. And these guys are the only ones that seem aggressive so far. But uh, you can see these things are hitting like little trucks. So I am going to start slowing. It looks like we got an eye pecker on us too. And we are down one mercenary. Uh, I forgot to resurrect her. I don't even know whose mercenary it is. I think it's uh, Kedka's. So we're going to have to bring that back as soon as possible. Oh my gosh, it's just a mess. Absolute mess here. All right. Oh, and kick is down again. Oh my gosh. All right. I guess the squawkers are assisting each other. And the f those guys are not mezzable, so this is problematic for us. I can't taunt it off her, so hopefully she can she can do her own thing over there. Nope, this is situation. Fade. Alright. Fade. I don't even know where I'm going. There's too much crap on my screen. Fade. Alright, that should solve my issue. Alright, so that was another absolute disaster. Uh, I guess all this stuff socially aggro is on itself. Uh... I'm not dead though, so we'll deal with that. I'm gonna recover again, and we can go from there. All right, we're gonna try, try again. That's uh, that's our uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep trying. Uh, and it should be noted that like this is a tier two zone, and we're not in tier. Uh, we're not even in full tier one gear, so. Uh, that is something that, you know, I guess should be of note because uh, this stuff is not, it's not easy. I mean, 9,600, I mean, we're getting just smashed and I'm, ma I'm making mistakes right now where uh, these guys are getting killed. All right, there is a siren, so if we can get... This one? Oh god, they are all attacking us. We are gonna do this again here. Seven, eight, nine. Let's go to town and destroy all these things. They are not mezzable. Alright. Go. I don't know what happened there. Alright, just stay with me here. Come on, why are they running around in circles? Oh, they're killing all the healers. Okay. This is just silly. Alright, both of the Merc healers are down. Ah, this is just... Oh my god, that's... Alright, what are you doing? Just run over here. Stop your macro. All right, so I'm I'm doing terrible. Uh, the bard got mezzed, and yeah, I like all those things are just in a pack, and that's terrible. So try again, and uh, you know if you don't try the first time, keep dying, and eventually you'll get it. Right, that's the uh, saying, right? All right, so <laughs> the sirens despawned and it's morning, so we can kind of avoid those for now. Um, I believe I got all four of them uh, on Tawani, so I can complete the quest for Tawani, and uh, we can go ahead and get these other ones done, and then I can I can still finish the video, but I'll have to come back and do it for uh, the other guys. Uh, but we need to pick up uh, salt weed in the water around the shores. All right. So if we go over 
here, I think. There was a nice shore. And yeah, these crabs, what are they? Apprehensive? So we don't have to worry about them. So in the water around here should be some salt weed. Let's go first person. I'm guessing it's this bamboo looking thing. There we go. That's salt weed, so we just need two of those. All right, we need ma crab meat and tubers from the middle of the island. All right, we're here towards the middle of the island, and that's what we're looking for. These little things on the ground I just picked up. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. We have to do it again because. Uh, She's not in biz, but we can just in biz and run and grab those real quick without having to actually fight any of these these uh these things here in the middle. So there we go, finished that, and we just need the crab meat. Oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm just running around and I got attacked uh, by some trees, and I have no idea why. But at least this one is mesable, so I got that going for me. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why. If they, maybe they see in, see in Viz or something, but. Uh, this should go fine. There's only two of them right now. And I, I'm able to lock one of them down. I'm going to Earth Force this thing. I used all my burns uh, on those sirens, and they didn't even, didn't even dent them. Like, that's crazy. So, just going to try to get through this. Uh, and, you know, it is tier 2, right? And tier 2 usually requires a tank uh, to be able to do do them effectively. And then, you know, that's kind of what we'll run into. Like, I, it might be easier if I was able to, like, taunt all this stuff on me and keep it off the mercenary healers, right? So, that is the thing that, you know, we're going to be facing for, you know, moving forward in this series. And whatnot as we do that but you know is i my plan right now is to continue all the way through this expansion uh so we're gonna have to gear up really quick wow 0.5 percent experience like uh i might be grinding here like i might literally just find a spot and just like i just got two shot right like these things can't heal me fast enough uh i need to slow this guy for sure there we go I don't even think slow landed on him. Uh, but yeah, my, my plan is to, to progress all through through like 30 or something missions in this uh, expansion and then go into uh, Empires of Kunark. But now I'm I'm second guessing myself because uh, this stuff is definitely a little bit harder than I expected. So we're looking for crabs is real what we're doing right now. I thought I saw some, like, right over here. Like, solo pullable crabs. Oh, God. That one's apprehensive. All right, can I echo you? Yeah, I, I did. Now I can grab you. There we go. All right, so we need five crab meat. And... These things are hitting really hard. Like it's, it's quite apparent. All right. Hopefully these drop like more than one per drop. Like right. Three crab meat. Perfect. So go that to twenty because she's gonna be the only one who can finish this quest right now. All right. We're going to echo that guy. We're not going to echo that guy. We're going to mez the blue one, right? Uh, we're going to Earth Force. All right. The secondary crab is mezzed. Thankfully. Uh, we're going to try to slow. Mallowed. Slowed. All right. We're good. For some reason my attack wasn't on. All right. Perfect. And let's get some dots on here. I'm manually doing it right now because the way I have my macro set up. 
they're kind of, uh, it'll force the bard to attack and I don't want to have to deal with that right now, but convenient these are razor latches and these count for the, uh, the razor latch, uh, mercenary kill quest. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm most likely going to be grinding here. We're 101. This is a, probably like a 103 zone. I, I would guess, right? What is this thing called? 103? Yeah, so I'm guessing that 103 would be like your ideal. You want to come here. Time for this place. So we're going to do two. Give to Tawani. That completes the quest for me. And we're going to give that to Ketka. There we go. All right. And oh, there's another crab right here. I totally forgot about because I'm making a video and... It's hard to remember these things. All right, so we'll kill this one, and we need to now, from what I read here, we need to get the silver, and he was eaten by a shark. Now, if we look up here, right, right up north of us, right, there's a bloated shark on the map, and I suspect that's what we're uh, actually looking for, so. We'll do that. There we go. We'll just send that to... Kedka, and we can deal with that later. All right, let's let's go to the bloated shark, and hopefully we can kill him. All right, we got attacked by a sea turtle, uh, but these are like insanely infested shark waters. So uh, I'm gonna leave everybody on on land and go out there and try to pull it closer. But uh, just looking over there, like uh, the view distance is broken because we're in the water, but. I saw like at least three or four sharks that are yellow to me, so definitely uh, something we need to uh, avoid, but we're going to get up on the land here. I don't know why this turtle attacked. I thought they were uh, like apprehensive or something, so. Alright, let's get these guys uh, parked right here. And you grab the shiny, because why not, right? Gosh, I love it when these, like, you get, like, the double shiny, you know? It's kind of nice. All right, so we should be able to go into the water here. And there is the bloated shark right down there. I'm going to pull him. And I'm going to come back up here. He should come to, like, right here, right? There he is. I'm going to Earth Force. That'll give me time. I have one mercenary in the water with me. Get her on that one. Alright, I can't attack. You can't attack from, like, outside of the water, so... Come on. I want slow on this thing. There we go. And the water shader is uh, not cooperating with anything right now. Oh my gosh, you stupid turtle. All right, we got a yellow turtle. He is making things a little bit unfun for us. He is mezzed though, so not having to worry about him for right now. All right, we've lost that. We're gonna go with heal. Oh jeez, uh, I'm gonna go spire, <laughs> uh, infusion, uh, focus the force. I, I I want this thing dead. It's uh, sitting ducks here in the water. It is not a safe spot at all. Ah, uh, looks like got that turtle. Is there two turtles here? No. All right. Got him. Ten percent. There we go. All right, we got boxes for everybody too. Perfect. All right, let's get this turtle. All right, let's move up. There we go, get you going. And let's try to slow this guy too. Alright, let's divvy this out real quick. 20, Ketka, no. There we go, and some swabby remains. Uh, let's give that to Tawani, that might be for a quest. Alright. So let's move him out of the water here. 
All right, give, give, give. That looks like we need to go just turn this in. Perfect. So I'm going to invis up and head back to the brothers. All right, we're back here at Dockle, and he wants the silver, which is the chest. So we can hand that over to him. There we go. And then Sprud, right over here, wanted the crab meat, the two seaweed, and the two tubers, which I'm not even sure what those are, but there we go. Now we need to speak to the brother, hail him. Good meats, good eats. Brother Sprud begins preparing meals from the ingredients you brought. Brought hot and tasty. Give to prisoners. All right. Speak with Dabner. Speak with Dabner. Where is Dabner? Dabner down here. There we go. Hail him. Dabner leaves off staring at the walls of his cell. The aging gnome regards you with wist wistful, <laughs> resigned glance and takes the meal from your hands. Has she already eaten her fill? Dagda always welcomes second helpings. Dabner is silent for a moment. Freona sends you a supper. Somehow I doubt that will be enough to free us. Hail him again, times five. I had been getting along with here s s getting along so well before Drizzle fouled it all. The quiet of my cell, the whispers of the waves, the books, the solitude away from Dagna. It was as though I was awaking from a long fevered slumber. Now I'm hearing Dagda's voice in my sleep and wonder if she's calling out for help, beset by some evil on all sides. But now I hear another sound, beautiful songs drifting from the sea. I think what other beauty lives beyond those walls, beyond this island, beyond the sea? What is there beyond Dagda? Dabner holds his hand and s starts to show cracks and wrinkles. He touches his face. I'm not that young. And the yearning is almost as old. Which one of us will die first? Only one can live when the other one is dead. What? <laughs> Jeez. The brothers say the songs I hear are those of the sirens. They say only the, <laughs> the weak follow the songs into the sea. But I have not already been snared by a siren song. I followed her into wintry oceans and floundered against her wintered heart i want to climb out of the waves and warm myself against the fire but i have grown numb to the cold it won't be long before the frost covers my skin and i fall asleep forever in an embrace of snow that the dying mistake of warmth dabner sets his plate down his food barely touched Freon is safe, but what of us? The brothers will never let us go as long as their gold is gone. Freon is not even coming to this island. Dabner sighs. I am a cleric. I may heal wounds, but I do not wish to cause them. Dagda was all, always the one to speak about how how to wield steel, cold steel. All right, speak to Dadga. All right, I am going to find her. So she's like right out side. Uh, I'm just going to leave them up here. So I'm sure that'll cause more more issues than I need to deal with right now. Uh, is she in this tent? She's just like in a tent. What kind, what kind of prison is this? This is like, they could easily escape. All right. Dagda Ice Fury. The song, it's called The Warrior in the Waves. Dabner taught it to me on the voyage here. I think it was one of Sion Che's old songs. It's stupid. In a sea full of pirates and sirens, why wouldn't you keep a sword at your side and a plate on your chest? If your footing is sure, you're more likely to face off against daggers or teeth than white caps. Speaking of sirens, haven't you heard? Aren't you afraid to talk to me according to the man who guard me? The men who guard me. I'm a siren come to steal them away. To the grottos. Dagda tips her head back and laughs as though I would want such a frightened children as thralls. 
Uh, her laughter dies as she quickly crosses her arms and scowls. If it weren't for Fiona's request with these children, I'd be making them afraid of my blade right now. And I'd start with first with the run. Quigley, he exiles me to the tents with Fiona and Lair the minute we step on the island. And now he paces, places me under guard for something Drizzle did. Yes. He'd be the one of the first to go. I've been spending my days brooding and singing some songs to annoy my guards and to keep me from turning my sword on them. It's boring. At least the adventure is exciting more than life and Hollis. True, I didn't think it would come to a bloodless stalemate, but when you tell me that it has happened, what has happened in Kata Castrum, I think it's time for my sword tasted a bit of blood. Alright, and I guess Hallis. Hallis is good as a place as any as a barbarian to settle. When Ferona left us and we disbanded, it was time to go and move on. I hate to admit it, but one cannot wield the sword forever. The days comes when you either die by it or are too weak to lift it. I thought I might learn a gentler trade. In preparation for the later years, Dagda runs her hand through strands of hair she'd been seen to, that have seen her, their touch of snow trades. It wasn't easy. Fishing, hunting, bears, trapping animals. How can any of that compare to holding a sword in your hand, fighting for your life at the side of your comrades? Dagda laughs, drunken sparring after several rounds of the tavern doesn't count. Comrades? See, maybe I was getting too old to start a family, too old to fight great battles, too old to worry about the dreams and glory I dreamt of my youth. I saw many days of glory when I was young. In the days when I traveled with Freona and her companions, I thought she had died. When I thought she had died, perhaps my youth died too. Freona? But Freona was alive when she arrived at Hallis. I felt what I would never feel again, the desire for my sword in my hand, the long road under my feet, the quest yet to be accomplished. Perhaps I was too old after all, Dagna smiles. Wasn't too old after all. If anything, I can at least have one more adventure before my bones are more brittle than the brother's courage. <laughs> Jeez, he is just ragging on these guys. And then she goes, with the sword in hand, she faced the blight and all around the dead of night the waves awoke with blazing light and lit the tilting ship the darkness gathered thick as rain the lightning stabbed the ocean pain the pointed sword glowed as white as flame the clattered and clattered to the deck the maiden bent and clutched the rail the winds arose and tore the sail her wrath was drowned to no avail Amidst the raging storm. When the sunlight burned apart from the clouds and the rolling waves were smooth as shrouds and the silence stood upon the prow, the maid could not be found. Her helmet, chest plate, and bracer and glove had sunk beneath the realm below. The only scrap to float was love. And this is what it read. Be light, my dove, and take and do take heed. To curse the seas is, seas there is no need. From heavy armor do be freed and take the cloth instead. All right, well, that was a nice little poem. All right, hail her one more time. She slams her fist into her hand where Freona told me would, to be diplomatic. She wasn't facing the threat she is now. She needs us with her to find Al Kabor. We cannot let anything especially not the brothers, stand in our way. Meet me here tonight, and I'll show the brothers they were right to fear me. Dagda smiles, nods, 
and goes back to singing her song. All right, speak with Mr. Quigley. All right, let's go back up to the top here and speak to him. Hopefully we're done with this quest and we can move on with our lives. There we go. And Mr. Quigley here. All right. Looks like we finished it. 97 platinum, 2.2% experience, less than the experience to kill a mob. Uh, we also get the Partisan Brother Island, which gives us 3.95% uh, experience. He crosses his arm and furrows his bow. It's a good start, but a, day, a day's worth of deliveries can't repay a sack of gold. You're going to be here a long time. If you think manual labor is going to return for you and her, compa and her companions to my good graces, quickly laughs. You better get some sleep. Or you're not going to have a long day ahead of you. All right, so there we go. We finished the quest. Uh, this, I think that's the only quest for this zone, honestly. Uh, I think that goes into the next one. Uh, but we have some kill quests, and I, I do all those, like, offline. Uh, but I am going to fall back to Tempest Island and finish the mercenary quest there and uh, do the ones in uh, Catacast. Uh, Catacastrum also and just try to get at least 102 uh, Maybe grind up a little bit more, but uh, the mobs are hitting harder now. We're in tier 2. This is no joke uh, We're a monk. We're not a tank uh, Tier 1 is easy enough, but uh, until we get like tier 2 gear uh, in every slot, we're gonna be We're gonna be at a disadvantage and uh, eventually we'll get there, but it's gonna just take a little time but uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.